bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Great opportunity coming up for a conference for women. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Joe Basikia, and this is Comcast Newsmakers. She is Janice Kovach. And Ms. Kovach is the director of the Department of Community Affairs for the New Jersey Division on Women. We're going to talk about the Governor's Conference coming up, and it's coming up in March. Good time to get ready for it. Good to see you. It's nice to see you. And this will not be the first time. In fact, it has happened many times so far, especially with our new governor as well. Who this has made it clear he's very high on this topic, isn't he? Yes, he is. Why? He understands the importance and the role that women play in in everything from their families to business to government. And this is an opportunity for 1,500 plus women to get together and network with one another and hear from others that can talk on you know, a whole host of subjects. To hear the governor talk about it, uh, he often says to go through the glass ceiling and he wants to, wants to see busting through that glass ceiling. Uh, how will that be a good thing for the state if we have that equality? Women have a different perspective. You know, we as, we always take on multiple roles. You know, it's not just, I'm not just a homemaker, I'm not just a business person, but I have multiple roles. So I take care of my children, I go to work full time, and I manage a division. So there's a lot of different things. And we, what we can add and what we can give to New Jersey is just something that is unique. We often like to talk about the queen on the chessboard. It's the most powerful piece on the board. Sometimes these folks may not realize the types of leaders they are, the reality is they are called upon for such great endeavors. You want to highlight that. You want to help them along with this conference. So what's going to be happening at this conference? We will have six or seven different tracks. We'll have um, individuals who will be speaking on starting your own business or growing your own business. We'll have financial planners there that will talk about you know, managing money. How do you manage for retirement? How do you manage starting with your, new, your first job? You know, how do you pay the bills and make things stretch? How do you buy your first home? We'll also talk a lot about health. We Last year we did some um, sessions on heart health and cancer. And, and just across the board, anything that you could think of, leadership, you know, people being out there, and you know, how, do you, how do you get to where you are? How did you get to be what you are? And an amazing thing about all these types of events, it always happens, that these become wonderful opportunities for networking as well, don't they? It's a phenomenal opportunity for networking. It's 1,500 women in a room coming from all walks of life, from all over the state of New Jersey, and even those from outside of New Jersey. We've had some visitors from Pennsylvania and New York as well. It can be, a, a, you may be a part of an organization, you may want to get the organization involved, or you may just be an individual woman. Mm -hmm. And guess what, you could even be a man, because this may even give you a perspective on what's going on in our state and the opportunities. Yes, we actually had several men last year who attended the conference as well. Where and when? It is in Atlantic City at the Convention Center on March 5th. March 5th is the actual conference. The night before March 4th, we're doing a VIP networking reception. So anyone that wants to come and stay the night before will have a keynote that will be there and you know we'll be there for the women. And a good reminder too, uh, for folks to remember, always remember this website, nj.gov. And think of it forward slash DCA, forward slash D-O-W. In the future, we want to talk to you about many of the resources that are on that mm -hmm. website. Yes. This is a great opportunity to tease you about that because not only you can find out more about the March 5th event, this is a wealth of knowledge. Your website, isn't it? It is. It's a phenomenal amount of information there. Okay. March 5th, you can register online? You can register online. Um, you can also send in registrations. If you go to the website, it'll direct you right to the conference website. And how does this all fit perfectly with the mission of the Division of Women? It's all about empowering women and helping them move forward, and that's what this conference is all about. Now let's finish up with that word, because that's such an empower, empowering word, <laughs> empowerment. What does it really mean? It means the ability to do something, whether for yourself or for someone else, to know that you have what it takes to be out there, whether you're advocating for yourself or you're advocating for your kids or for, for your parents, you know, to be able to make that commitment and make a difference. You know, it's amazing. As you said that, I was thinking about Lady Liberty holding up the torch. You know, that's our calling as all Americans, mm -hmm. and you're making that happen. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. This is Irish Newsmaker. She's Janice Kovach, the Director of the Department of Community Affairs for the New Jersey Division on Women. I'm Joe Basitia for Comcast Newsmakers, which is seen exclusively here, right on Comcast Cable. For more information, you can check us out online as well, cna.tv.